Taylor Swift, Billie Eilish, Ariana Grande. What do these people all have in common? They're all pop stars. Taylor Swift, Billie Eilish, Ariana... Wait, those are the same people as before. Anyway, but with all the people I've just mentioned, there's still one pop star missing. Me. It, the person, it's, it's, it's me. The person is me. Okay? And now, please welcome... Me. Hi there, welcome back. So I woke up this morning and decided I wanted to be a famous pop star. So, um, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna become a world famous pop star. Just like that. Sounds pretty simple, actually. I'm joking, not about the pop star thing. That is very much becoming true. However, about the simpleness. I have a specific approach. This is not gonna be some lacklustre... Oh, I'm gonna become famous video. This is gonna work, hopefully, you know. So I'm sure there's a bit of luck involved, but this plan is pretty much bulletproof. Um, or I guess music critic proof. <sighs> I actually tried making this video a few months ago. Uh, however, it was shit. So now I'm making it again. And this time it's gonna work, so... Is there a method to my madness? Yes. Is there a method to all of our madness? No. I'm the only person who can have a method to my madness. Step one, make a song. I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, I'm gonna make a song. I don't really need to explain what making a song is. Step two, inherit a persona. Of course I'm gonna be myself for this because I want all credit and more importantly money. Um, however, I feel like I might need to make some small changes to my personality in order to just make sure my fame is long lasting and big. Step three, world domination. Once again, pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna dominate the world with my new hit single, which I am yet to make. But believe, guys, it's gonna be pretty good. It's gonna be pretty good. I'm gonna do this, okay? I'm gonna do it. Don't you tell me otherwise. I'm going to do it. So uh, where's a good place to start? I'd say step one. The <laughs> What does making a song entail? As I was about to find out, I had no idea. Despite releasing so much music of my own in the past, this was somehow the hardest thing I have ever made. But then, I succeeded. I've made a bop, it's just true. But although I had made the bop of bops, I still needed some lyrics. So I'm thinking of calling it You're Just Sensitive, but instead of your, we're gonna do you are because that's the cool team thing to do. So the vibe, the vibe of the track is like, we've kind of got a lot of vibes. We've got a bit of a rap verse, um, cause when you look at me, you think rapper. Uh, we've got the opening introduction is very Billie Eilish and just disturbing sounds. The main bit of the song has like a 70s, 80s feeling. So I feel like that's coming back now. You know, we've got those kind of synths and pianos, so let's write the song. This is You're Just Sensitive. Let's just make it really simple lyrics. So, you know, we don't want to confuse people with like complex lyrics or complex emotions. We kind of just want to make it a simple song about being angry and then happy. And then maybe it is quite confusing. Uh, maybe we should do complex lyrics. Yeah, we're going to do complex lyrics. They're gonna be really complex. The first you broke my heart. Then you went up and tore me apart. You said you hated me. So I ran as far as the eye could see. A lot of modern songs have 10 writers because a lot of modern songs, it takes 10 people to come up with the chorus. Ooh, ah. Ah ah, ooh ah, ah ah. And so I thought I'd text my friends for a line that they can, that to use in the song so that I have like 10 writing credits. And so I sent the messages off to my friend, telling them to give me the best line that they could think of off of the top of their head. I might have to put this in later if they don't respond instantly. So it is now later that night and um, boy have I got some replies. Uh, I'll read you a few, well. I'll read you all the ones I got. I only sent it to a few of my friends because, you know, social anxiety. Let's let's start off with Rita, who very kindly sent me the line, the car went vroom, 
as I pushed you down the loo. Thanks, Rita. That's going in the song. Helios sent me the line, I fuck statues, which is a really great one. And then Edie sent me the line, sorry I didn't reply, I fell asleep. I don't know if that was the line or something she was just telling me, but she didn't send anything else, so it's going in the song. Speaking of the song, let's record that. It's time to record the song. Let's, let's do this. I have got everything one might need when recording a song, aka headphones and mic. And so, yeah, let's, let's do this. I'm, I'm making a song. I've already made the song. I just need to record the fucking vocals. Let's do it. I'm gonna sing about sedatives. So with the vocals recorded, all I needed now was style. But first, this very sleep-deprived explanation of what the song is. What's the vibe of the song? Uh, I'd say everything is the vibe of the song. You know, we've got Billie Eilish creepy tones. We've got, uh, we've got Rick Astley vibes. We've got great lyricism. We've got dark undertones. It's gonna be great. And also, I've made it, and it's good. I. Th mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen. George Bowen. So everything is falling apart. So Rita has COVID. Um, and if you're wondering why I'm telling you this, it's because she was meant to be the stylist for this video. She was meant to, you know, help me with my look. However, she is not here on account of her, you know, having COVID. So, sadly, I'm going to have to style myself. I say sadly because look at my fashion sense. This could turn out awfully. This could, like, end my career before it's even started, but, you know... I'm going for the gold, so I'm going to try and make it good. Even if my fashion sense isn't great, I can always be, like, trendy about it. You know, with my, like... Wait, how do you... Oh, yeah, this looks great. Definitely. Ow. So not that. I don't want to fail this. This needs to go well. I guess I could, like, wear something similar to this. I guess I could kind of, like, go for that relatable, quirky teen vibe. Like, I could wear this, but, like, with something else that makes me cool. What are the cool things I have in my house? I could go for those, like, acoustic guitar sad boy vibes. But that's not really the vibe of the song, is it? So not that. <laughs> Chill. Oh, you know what? Leather jacket. How do I put on leather jacket? Well, I'm thinking this is looking very cool. I'm not gonna lie. I think I might have achieved it, you know? You know, I've got my... I've got my turquoise bottoms and leather jacket and Spongebob top. I think I've achieved greatness. Well, I guess now that I've achieved greatness in my outfit, the next thing is to release the song. <sighs> I'll see you on the other side, I guess, because as of tomorrow, I'm going to be a famous pop star. See you on the other side. Thank you, viewer. I'm going to have famous dinner. So with my look made, the song sorted out, and my icon status ready to go up to 4,000, it was time to release the song. So I finished the cover art, put in the information, sent it off, and then I waited. Okay, so it has been nearly a week since the song came out, which I'd say puts it about in the margin for probably would have caught on by now, and it currently has... Okay, so, uh, not a pop star yet. Yet. Not a pop star yet. 
I was heartbroken. My life was now meaningless. Not only was I not a world famous pop star, but I only had six streams on my song. This was turning out to be my most ridiculous video yet. Even more ridiculous than that time me and Rita managed to fuck up making banana bread. But then I realized I had to turn where no good person should ever. I had to turn to So I set off to work, perfectly crafting a set of TikToks that would perfectly cater to the type of people I wanted listening to my song. I had one about me, I had one for the GCSE drama students, and a heartwarming one that was sure to end up on a This Will Make You Cry video. So with the TikToks made, all that was left to do now was to go viral. In the good way, I haven't got COVID. Okay, so it's been a few days since I posted those TikToks, and no one has seen them. Uh, not just no one has liked them, no one has seen them, which I think we can all agree is the worst possible outcome. I spent a whole five minutes making those TikToks and no one has seen them. <sighs> Streaming numbers haven't rised, my TikToks have been seen by no one, and I am not a famous pop star. <sighs> I guess it all goes back to that thing I said in the beginning. I'm sure there's a bit of luck involved. <sighs> it is about luck all along. You are so smart, George. I probably should have listened to you. But then again, I guess my time wanting to be famous has come to an end. Oh fuck it, maybe I'll just be an author instead. <laughs> I'm gonna have famous dinner.